I, I got a beer that uh, these days like, is kind of obscure maybe from Unibrew. Back in the day, La Fan du Monde was you know, one of the most respected triples, pretty popular. Um, but now these styles just aren't really that popular in America. Everyone wants the hip new craft beers. But I've got Unibrew, Don de Dieu. That's, they call this a triple wheat ale. So it's not exactly a Belgian triple. They, on their website, call it just like an imperial or like a strong wheat beer. Um, so I assume there's, oh yeah, it says ale brewed with spices. So it's probably orange peel and coriander. 9% alcohol, pretty up there. And the best by date is October 16th, 2022. So I'm guessing this beer is um, a little over a year old. Because the, on their website they say aging potential one to three years. But I feel like this, oh, it's bottle conditioned, nat naturally carbonated in the bottle, live yeast. So that with the strength uh, makes it pretty good for aging. And yeah, these beers are super cheap now. You can get these six packs with six different beers for $10 or less. Um, I haven't had this beer in probably nine years. Low on the IBUs for sure, 10 and a half IBUs. Yeah, that's kind of the Unibrew house character. They all use very unique yeast and they're almost all spiced and pretty sweet and low on the IBUs. But I thought it might be fun to return to this one. Definitely high carbonation. Got a little color to it, not ultra blonde I would say. You can hear lots of bubbles popping there. <clears throat> that head's not going to last too long. But quite active carbonation. It isn't crazy, crazy overcarbed. It isn't like some, uh... oh no, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty carbon carbonated. But I mean, par for the style. That's why I like a lot of triples and beers like this. They are a little sweet, um, but then this crazy carb gives us fluffy, full body that's really fun. Yep, oh, it's just a classic Unibrew smell. <laughs> and it's pretty different from their just regular whip beer. Oh, I know, what's that one called? I really like that one, I did a review of it last summer. Can't think, oh, Blanche, Blanche de Chambly, that one is very nice. This has definitely got more prominent esters and malt sweetness happening in there. It's definitely orangey and some spicy fruity coriander in there too. But it does smell a lot like a Belgian triple also. The esters aren't quite bubblegum or banana, but close. More of like a pear, apricot, but not quite saison. Maybe slightly apple-y. Smells pretty good. Doesn't smell too old or anything. And I guess they do say this could be aged for almost two more years. And you can see the head died down quite a bit there, but carbonation is still going strong. <sighs> Smells nice. Interesting though. The, the carb isn't really lifting the body and making it lighter that much. A deep, like dried apricot, dried peach, dried, dried pale fruit sort of taste in there. I feel like there's not much of the added spices in the flavor. It's more the nose. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and at least one, from one sip, it's pretty easy to drink. Yeah, it does lighten up the body a little bit but it's quite prickly from that soda-like crazy carb. Even though soda is not naturally carbonated, it'd be kind of cool to have like a naturally carb um, Coca-Cola. I wonder if that'd be bad. <laughs> um, the sweetness is tolerable. That, goes up, that prickly carb, there's some nice peppery spicy phenols in there, but nothing medicinal. It's not quite yet with lots of dried apple, pear, apricot, 
Um, well, not quite mango. It doesn't quite make that jump to tropical fruits. But I could say orchard fruits. <laughs> Maybe yeah, some stone fruits. Maybe not quite peach. But it doesn't get too cidery. That's one thing. With a lot of really yeasty forward beers, is I'm just not a huge fan of it. When it reminds me too much of drinking apple cider, um, like hard cider. Just not a huge fan of cider. Enjoyed some of it a lot, especially like wild fermented bready funky cider from France and stuff, and Basque cider from Spain. Um, but this does not get too much in that that territory, and the bubbles are still going going crazy in there. Spiciness and carb really dries it up really nicely. Look, it's, it's filling in for the lack of hop bitterness. Yeah, I, don't, I don't get much hops in this at all. And that's really the Unibrew style for most of their beers. I guess they do have a, a, some some beers I didn't know about, like a, a Belgian IPA version of La Fin du Monde, which I'd like to try. I wish they would send some more of those. And they have like a Blonde de Chambly, that's like a Saison. Maybe that one's a little hoppier and drier. That's how Saisons are supposed to be. Send those down to America. Americans love hoppier things than Saisons. Saisons are, you know, some of the most respected beer styles made in America right now. And this is surprising. I'm not surprisingly good, but I'm enjoying it. I'm glad I, glad I got it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much I'd want it on a really hot day. Especially if it gets warm and flat by the end of it. But perfectly good, especially if you like Belgian triples. Um, yeah, it's even close. It's not too far off from a, like a really big Saison either, just not very hoppy. I'd give it a 3.75, close to a 4. There's really not much wrong with it, except that I guess the, it could be a little less prickly and softer in the carbonation, get more head retention, but it does have a hint of acidity that I think is also helping to dry it out. So it works out. Bye.